You know, despite that freakout I had last episode, I figured out that IGs are actually quite delectable. So, I'm just going to go ahead and eat a couple of those. Hmm. Pretty tasty. Anyway, greetings ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Retro Tech Comms. I am your host, Jacob, and today we are going to play some more Subnautica. In the last episode, we crafted this glorious beast over there, the Cyclops. And today, I am going to do as I promised, and I'm actually going to look for the Blood Kelp Forest. I'm going to explore past the Moon Pool, and so let us go ahead and start doing that. Uh, for this expedition, I'm also going to bring the laser cutter with me because um, I don't know where exactly the Auroran wreckages show up or where they spawn in. So I just want to have my uh, laser cutter just in case I encounter one. I did grab the laser cutter, right? Okay, good. I just want to make sure that wasn't the welder because that won't exactly help if it's the welder. Now, in all honesty, I really should change out a couple of my modules for my Seamoth to have sonar. But the thing is, I want... Um... I just want to be able to... Uh, go down to a safe depth, and I want to be able to recharge my Seamoth whenever possible. I should probably even put in the torpedo module as well, but yeah, I can only have a limited amount. Alright. Oh man, we're getting deep into places that are getting a little bit unsafe. Oh! Aha! Alright, here's one of the biomes. This is the uh, mushroom tree, or mushroom shelf, mushroom forest biome? I don't freaking remember the name of this. This is just a cool looking biome, nothing too spectacular about this area, honestly. It's not what I'm interested in right now, I'm just looking for the blood kelp, if I could find it. Oh, there's a fragment. I want that fragment. Let's see what you are first off. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll grab you. I already have a Cyclops pressure compensator, but I'd like to be able to craft more. Oh my goodness. What the hell? I guess any old tap is gonna just gonna damage the uh, sea moth now. It's kind of lame. Whoa! Oh, that's a planet. Never mind. I thought that was something cool. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here, folks. Planets aren't cool anymore in my eyes. I'm just kidding. Oh, shut up! Wait, is that a bone shark? Yeah, that's a bone shark. Cool. We haven't encountered those yet. Or have I? Have I? I don't remember. Hello? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Don't fear the Reaper, but I'm fearing. Am I heading towards it? This is not. Oh my god! It's right there! Why? 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 Down to, de down to deeper depths. It's the only place that's safe. Ironically. Oh my god. What? There's another one! Oh no. Well, you. There's another one! 
Screw this! I don't care about the blood kelp anymore. I'm going back. Oh my god, no, 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 no. They seem to not see me. Thank god. Oh. What the hell? Game. That's a giant koosh ball. Oh! Hey! We haven't encountered you! Electric shark eel thingies. I don't know what their name is. Oh my gosh. Like, I literally do not want to do this exploration anymore. Oh my god. I should have brought the stasis. I should have crafted and brought a stasis rifle with me. Am I near the Aurora? Oh. oh, cool. Thermal vent, yay. I want to know what that is. You better be something good. Bioreactor, damn it, you're good. Ho, oh, don't do it. Ho, oh, don't do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Welcome oh, aboard, it's not E, Jacob. It's left click. Oh. I want to go in that cave. Well, at least uh, we were able to find this area. Bioreactor. At least there aren't any Reaper Leviathans right now. Oh, sweet. Yay! Thank you, Carolyn. I don't need any more. Fucking... I thought these, uh, you know, now that I think about it, um, I thought these electric eel enemies, I can't remember the name of them, honestly. I thought they were only supposed to spawn in the blood kelp, but I guess they can spawn in the cooch biome as well. Not that I, not that I mind, they're pretty cool. Oh, this is the edge of the world. Shoot. Alright. Heading back. Hoot and balance. Hey, there's a stalker here. Hey. That's pretty cool. Hi there, stalker. How you doing? At least you're not an asshole like the Reaper Leviathan. Oh, come on. You know, at this point, I'm getting annoyed by the Reaper Leviathans. It's just like, I, I, I want to safely explore... This ocean, and here comes Mr. Asshole, biggest predator of the game. This isn't safe, this isn't safe, this isn't safe. What are you? Magnetite. Oh. Oh. Can I scan you? No, I can't. Well, I need not any magnetite right now. God, I can hear them. And one reason that I hate the Reaper Leviathan is not because they're a scary predator. Well, yeah, that's, that's a big reason why, but... Another reason is simply because that whenever they roar, they sound like they are all around you. Like, you can't exactly 
pinpoint whenever they roar or let out their whatever their screech is that allows you to be able to hear them underwater. Whenever they let that out, you can't tell where exactly they are. You just cannot. It's because it sounds like they're all around you, and that fucks me up so much. Oh, god damn it. Okay, if we're, if we're out of their spawn area, like their spawn distance, then we're just fine. I hope. This is a big mountain. I thought that cloud was a reaper at first, and I got really concerned. I'm just fine, though. There's a hole. Ow. Is this basalt? I've already scanned basalt. You dropped uranium. Yeah, I'll pick up uranium. There are a whole bunch of biter assholes in here. I don't want to stay in here. Okay, so I think I've pretty much gone around all of the uh, edge that I want to, so I'm just gonna... <gasps> oh my god, really? Yes! Oh my goodness! Alright, I have found yet another landmass. And there's a reaper! Great! My favorite. You see, Moth, you're gonna be chill over there? Yeah, I hope you'll be fine. You'll be just fine. Oh, God. Why is there a reaper near- Why did the Why do reapers have to come in and ruin everything for me? I mean, I asked for this, but please no. Anyway. Cool. <laughs> I found another land area. More lithium. Diamond, yes. Gold, I don't need you. I should be concerned about these crabs, but honestly, I'm not. Cool. Motherfucker, I will end you. Cool. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. Joke's on you, Reaper. You can't get in here. <laughs> okay, honestly, at this point, shut up, Reaper. Like, honestly, shut. Could you just shut the fuck up, please? Okay, honestly, I would feel much safer inside of my sea moth. I would. Oh! Huh. A majestic air flap flap! Awesome. It's like a sea flap flap, but in the air. Okay, Reaper, like, literally, shut your gills face area. Retract thine mandibles. Shut. Please. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, there's a little path going up. All right. Yeah, I'll go up the path. Why the hell not? Ay, ay, ay. Cool. I'm gonna need to eat soon. More diamonds. Yeah, yes, please. I'll take that. Ah, more gold. I don't need gold. 
Yeah, first human ever to say that I don't... That, the first human to ever say they don't need gold. Oh, that's cool. It leads back to... Oh, Jesus. Well. It's one way to get back down. Even though I know the Reaper can't get in here very easily anyway, I'm still cautious because there is that there's going to be that one Maverick who decides that he's gonna do it. I just wish that there was a safer place to put the sea moth. I mean, I don't know exactly how to get into that island area, and honestly, I would I would park my sea moth inside of that cave. But I just don't know how to get into it. From the ocean, anyway. So, I had my fill of that area. Ooh, what's that? What is that? What is that? Oh. Ah, the floating islands. Yes, yes. These are so cool. I'm gonna head straight down to the bottom. You know, it's a, it's a damn good thing that I have beacons. Because this would be absolutely horrible if I didn't. Good god, this is Bone Shark Central right here. Like, Jesus. Oh man, my Seamoth is taking a massive amount of damage. Alright. It's time to head back to base. I'm going to heal up the sea moth, and then I'm going to uh, go back out post haste, and I'm going to, of course, try my best to continue to try to find the blood kelp force. Good God, I have a massive army behind me. I'm sure, massive army of angry, angry, angry sea creatures that want to eat my face. Like, literally, fuck off, Bone Shark. See, now, Bone Shark! Bone Shark! Oh, Bone Shark! I'm just here trying to find salt at the bottom of the ocean, which doesn't make one lick of sense, but you know what? I'm just trying to find salt. Is that so much to ask? Is that? I'm scanning this limestone. I don't give a fuck. And titanium. I don't need you just yet. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes. I can tell. always take more silver. Always. Copper. Yeah, where'd you go? I want more copper. I need more copper in my life. Did I scan the rabbit ray? I feel like I haven't. I, uh, I have. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Pop-up notifications telling me my friend's playing Warframe. That's nice. I don't care. Caution. Dehydration detected. Thank you, Carolyn. I'm aware. And I'm way ahead of you. What's this? More sea moth. Goodness gracious, there are a lot of sea moths here. Am I there yet? Yes, I am here, finally. Alrighty. Okay. I think I have a new tactic in hand, in mind here that I want to employ. 
Let me just go ahead and grab the necessary equipment in order to do this. I'm going to want a welder. Where the hell are you? That's the laser cutter. There we go. Oh, wait. Did I have the welder on me? Oh, I know. Duh. I feel stupid. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and heal you up, Seamoth. Alrighty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Alrighty. So, I think I'm going to employ a new tactic. In terms of... My upgrades. I'm going to get rid of my solar charger. Because honestly, if I could just come back to the base at any time, I can just do that. I can just recharge now. Or recharge there. And I'm going to instead put in a whole reinforcement. So. Uh, it's just so that my Seamoth doesn't take so much damage. I think what I'm also going to do is craft a couple more modules. Just so I can have them on reserve. Emergency. Severe dehydration. After I take care of this guy's health. I feel like such a dunce whenever I'm going through the menu just flip-flopping around. Trying to figure out what exactly I want to click on. Yeah, that's good for now. You live for now, Oculus. You live for now. I'll put salt in here. You know what? I'm going to go out right now, and I'm just going to get a fuckload of these. 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What? Oh, wow. The tubes actually do disappear. I'm surprised. Very good. Very good. So now that I have 14 of these, I can go ahead and deposit them all in here. And I'm going to need to collect a lot of salt. I'm just going to need to find salt. That's always a hard thing to do, for some reason. Okay. So, I have a new mission in mind. I want to explore past the thrusters of the Aurora. So let's just go out into this direction and see what we can find, shall we? Because now we have the good old module that preemptively hardens the chassis before it gets struck by objects. It's a stasis rifle. Do I have you? I don't remember if I have you. Well, if I don't, I will go ahead and get just two pieces of titanium. Oh, apparently my friend's playing Warframe again. Really? I have not collected the stasis rifle. Well, time to start doing that. Ooh. Ominous. Seamoth, I don't need you. Whoa. Wow. The Aurora is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, this is another danger of doing this. Is that Reaper Leviathans love, love, love to hang out around the Aurora. I actually found out recently that there's o that um 
around the Aurora, there can only be one Leviathan. I thought that was interesting. I thought there could be more than one of these assholes, but turns out, nope. There's just one that spawns in around the Aurora. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. This is gonna be really, really difficult and really, really dangerous to pull off. Very, this is gonna be very tricky. Let's just go down here. Bone sharks, I can deal with. Sand diggers, I can deal with. Oh, great, there is one right there. Or sand sharks. It's sand diggers, what the hell am I talking about? Stupid sand sharks. <sighs> At least I saw him before he saw me. Oh my fuck! At least I saw him before he saw me. Oh my god. Oh my jeez. He's getting too close. He's getting too close to me. Ah, fuck, I need to make it towards this general direction though. Fuck. Oh my god! We are getting dangerously close to these creatures. Oh, jeez, fuck, son of a bitch. Oh my god! He sees me! He sees me! He sees me! Abort mission, abort mission, abort mission, abort mission. Help, help, help. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Fuck you. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Fuck you. 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 I know he's right behind me. I know he's right behind me. He has not stopped chasing me. I know it. Yeah, he's right behind me. He's right behind me. Son of a bitch. He's right behind me. I'm not looking behind me. Nope. 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 So much nope. 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 I'm not looking behind me. Nope. Motherfucker, I'm not looking behind me. No. 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 Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, a thousand times nope. Nope. No! No! No. Stop chasing me. See? Running away can solve your problems. Only for a short period of time, though. Okay. So. What have we learned here, gentlemen and ladies? Ladies and gentlemen? We have learned that going around the ass end of the Aurora is not a good idea. So, let's take the longer way. What's this? Oh, thank you, yes. You know what? Balls of titanium. Let's go back around the ass end. Let's let's do it again. At this time, let's pay the reapers no mind whatsoever. Like no mind given to them at all. Let's just go ahead and let's go around this end of the aurora. We don't have, actually let's just stick close to the ship. Cuz if I keep my left side to the ship, I know that they can't side swipe me from the left therefore I can put full focus on the right fuck I'm gonna die aren't I guys I'm gonna die I know it I just know I'm gonna die hi reaper pay you no mind pay you no what the fucking goddamn it fuck he just went Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was kind of hoping he got stuck in the wall, but, you know, screw my dreams. 
Pay him no mind. Pay him no mind. Pay him no mind. Fuck, is that a thing? No, it's not a thing. Ooh, don't swipe the bottom. We don't need any more lag here. Pay them no mind. Pay them no mind. Just keep on moving. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep driving. Just keep driving. What do we do? We drive, drive, drive. And he's gone. See? It works. Fuck. You're above me, aren't you? Hi. Just don't pay him any mind. Don't give him the time of day. Lolly lule lo. We're now quoting Metal Gear Solid. Oh my fuck, there's another one. I guess I was fucking wrong. There can be multiple around the Aurora. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Let's head southward. There's one down there. This is not good. Jacob, you dunce. La li lu le lo. Just lay low. Just lay low. Just fucking swim. Do not look. Uh, do not look. Do not look behind you. Oh my god, they're all around me. This is hell. Why is it nighttime now? I don't want it to be nighttime. I would like some sunshine raining down on my head. I should stop singing. But it's the only thing keeping me from screaming like a bitch. And if it's doing that job well, then I'm gonna sing. Because I'm scared of shit. Do not pay them any mind. I think they're gone. Yay. <laughs> oh no. Yep, they're gone. I'm happy. I am pleased with this result. We literally circled the entire Aurora. <laughs> Freaking sand sharks, go away. I hear some jelly rays around. Here's a, st a stalker. Okay, there's a stalker here. Well, I found another drop off. Is this one of the infinite ones? I feel like this is an infinite. Well, I found another Kush biome. With more of these electric eel bastards. Yeah, I'm not taking nearly as much damage now to my sea moth whenever I do a small collision. So that's good. I feel like I've actually been to this very same biome and I've gone in a massive 45 minute circle around this map. Wait, is that? Oh, okay. About to say, if that's a piece of gold I left behind or something, I was gonna curse. I thought I think I've seen that thermal vent before. Bioreactor, yeah. Ow! Jerk. Oh, what are you? Huh. Little pretty pink pustule looking plant life. Although knowing my luck with marine biology, that's not a plant but actually an animal. I'm starting to think that the Aurora wreckages are just a myth because I have not been able to find one. Along with the freaking... freaking... Uh, blood kelp. That's the word I'm trying to think of. Blood kelp. I can't find the blood kelp for the life of me. I mean, I want it. I know I want it. 
Ooh, yes. Please. All right. That's weird. Is there a thermal vent under here? Huh. That's odd. An odd little quirk in the rendering of the area. Oh my god, how ridiculously difficult is it to find a freaking blood kelp forest? Like, literally, Markiplier put no effort into finding a blood kelp. And here I am putting the entirety of my effort out. That was a late reaction on my part, but whatever. Oh god, there are sand sharks. Get me out of here. Anyway, I'm putting the entirety of my effort into finding one, and I cannot find one for beans. Needless to say, this sucks. And knowing my luck, I'm gonna encounter another area with REAPERS! Am I doing this wrong? Like, am I? Am I doing this wrong? Because all I want is blood oil so I can make benzene, so I can make synthetic fibers, so I can fucking make shit. Another freaking mushroom forest. FML, FML. In fact, I've actually been here because I recognize this rock structure. Ugh. All of my what? You know what, I'm just gonna head back to base, repair this, and I'm going to craft a beacon. <gasps> oh my gosh! Did I find one? Yes! I found an Aurora wreckage. Oh, sweet baby. Yes. Let's go in, shall we? Not a moment to lose. Oh my god. Ooh, what's this? Stick that in my head, meat. Where is it? It's right there. Possible cave open. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Alright, I'm go what? <laughs> oh, nice. Alright. The developers put in a poster for their own game. Yes, all of my yes. I'm taking this back to my base. I don't even care. That's awesome. Alright, I'm gonna give you that, developers. I'm gonna give you that. That was good. That was really good. I'm gonna sit in. Alright, I'm just gonna sit inside of my sea moth and I'm going to. Just wait for my... Was that a reaper? I hope that wasn't a reaper, because I don't need a reaper dampening on my parade right now. Okay. Freaking... Oh my gosh. I, uh, that's, just, that's awesome. I am so glad that I was able to finally find an Aurora sh uh, shipwreck. Let me just go ahead and get that out of my hot bar. You know what? Might as well suck up more oxygen while I'm here. All right. Let's go back into the wreckage and let's see what we can find in this first branching path. Oh my, that looks dangerous. That looks really dangerous. This looks really dangerous. 
Whoa. Disinfected water. There's a fragment in here. Filtration machine? Oh my gosh, like a water filtration? And I only needed one? Oh. Floodlight? Pardon me, can I pick this up? Can I pick this up? for me to scan. And here I was freaking thinking I wasn't going to have a very productive day here in Subnautica. And then I'm slapped with this stuff. This is great. This is amazing. That should not be going through there, but whatever. Caution. Hydration detected. Fluid intake recommended. Yeah. I gotcha. Alright. Let's go ahead and sit inside the sea moth and get more oxygen. Okay, that was just metal grinding. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I am so I am pleased with this episode now. I thought this was gonna be a crap episode, but this is great. This is good. This is real good. All right, back out we go, and into the belly of the beast once again. Oh, oh, oh! Huh. Welcome aboard. Captain. I just unfortunate. I just wish that I had a beacon on me, but unfortunately I don't. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Hopefully I will be able to do this effectively. I am going to leave the sea moth there. Just go with this. I'm gonna leave the sea moth there. I'm gonna swim back to my base. I'm going to make the gribs and grabs of a beacon. Two beacons, actually. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to leave it there. So that I'll be able to come back to that area as a reference point And I can start exploring from there. Now, if the game is kind to me. It's not going to dick me over. And it's going to let me get back to the base. It's going to let me live. Because I want to keep this poster. Ha! And would you look at that. It was beyond the moon pool that I found that wreckage. Ah, yeah. Noise. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Carolyn. That means a lot to me. Oh, yeah, the, the music's kicked up because it knows that I'm having I'm having a really good... I have really good luck with this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Before I do that, I want to see what this is. Um, whoa. Oh, well, this looks scientific as hell. I'm going to put it there. Oh my god, this thing's gonna make water and salt deposits. I never need to worry about water. Oh my gosh, how did I not know about this? Wait, no, wait, I remember this. Ignore me, I feel stupid now, I remember this. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I'm getting it legit though. Oh, this looks so cool. Yeah, nighttime approaches, I don't give a- Do I look like I care that the night is approaching? Oh, my poor sea moth is probably feeling so abandoned, but I, I don't want to go out there at night, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this place a bit more spiffy. Let's add a personal little touch. Let's, let's make this house a home, shall we? 
Yeah. All right. Let's put this beautiful natural selection poster over here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's so cool. All right, natural selection is a game that I need to give another chance. Because I got this, I got the game because it looked really cool, and then I tried it, and I'm just like, I this is this is so complex to me, like I don't know how to function. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can actually put you in a different area. You know what? No, you're just fine, just the way you are, right there. You're just fine there. Oh, man. My friend's playing Warframe again. How many times have he selected that damn game? Emergency. Yeah, yeah. Seek I can put one there as well? Bitchin'! Alright! Shit, uh, <laughs> I'm sucking up a lot of power here in terms of that stuff. Crap. Oh my god, these guys, these are gonna suck up a lot of power. Alright, how much is it for more solar panels? Well, you know what? I'm gonna leave you all in suspense. I'm gonna end the episode here. So next time I am going to go back and I'm going to rescue my brave sea moth for sticking out there in the middle of the night. Um, I'm going to get a much more power system going, a much much better power system going in my base. Warning: emergency power only. Power restored. All primary Warning. systems emergency online. Power only. Power restored. Oh my god, are we gonna do this? Well, you're gonna listen- I'm gonna have to listen to this until I get it back. Um, I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm going to re-pick- I'm gonna pick this up immediately, and I'm gonna continue recording. So anyway, this is Jacob of RetroTech signing off. I will see you in the next episode of Subnautica, where we will get some stuff done. Alrighty, goodbye. Oh, good god. Oh my god, that looks fucked up. Dude, I fucked you up. I'm sorry. <laughs>